New DLCs are something that the community is always speculating for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Content impacts are no exception to this. Many people love to speculate on what species we could see from specific continents. But what could a European expansion in Jurassic World Evolution 2 look like? We'll be covering that and more, so make sure to stick to the end of the video to find out. Now let us return back to Jurassic Europe. Some new species that could be in this expansion could be Ampelosaurus, Torvosaurus, Marigaya, and Palladiosaurus. Ampelosaurus is an armored sauropod that lived during the Cretaceous Europe. It could be used to replace the Ankylodocus's role in JWE1 as an armored sauropod, but this could also bring a mechanic that would be able to that would allow sauropods to be able to defend themselves from carnivores instead of just dying easily to them, since in reality they're just big sacks of meat for them. Torvosaurus was the largest carnivore in Europe and a fan favorite in the community. Introducing it to the game would make a lot of people happy and would bring us a new carnivore to the game as people love carnivores out over any other species. Miragai is another fan favorite due to its unique backplates, as we don't have any stegosaurs like it. It also appeared in Jurassic World Alive and is a very popular dinosaur to mod in. Platiosaurus is a dinosaur that people wanted more than any other dinosaur here. Its unique body is the main reason people want it, as no dinosaur would be like it in the game, and would also introduce another Triassic species to the game, as we are severely lacking in those types of dinosaurs. The Megalosaurus also appeared in Europe, but the model we have in game is much thinner and has a shorter snout. This would be a nice variant as it's more accurate and is overall bigger and meatier. Another variant we could see would be the Proceratosaurus and Jurassic World Alive. This variant would be nice as we'd be able to see more feathers and it's completely different from the Proceratosaurus in the game. Honestly, I like this Proceratosaurus better than the one in game right now. This Pyroraptor skin comes from Jurassic World the game and would be cool to see as well. It's very colorful and has a nice contrast of blue and yellow. And again, more feathers. We all love feathers. Yay! The Stegosaurus skin from Jurassic World the game would also be nice to see, as it resembles the tiger stripe raptors, and honestly, the Stegosaurus definitely needs color to stand out more. Another variant we could see could be a more accurate Metriacanthosaurus, as the snout of this one is very different from the one in game, and has a really cool looking eyebrows on its head. This Bracky skin could be would be cool to see as well, as its pattern is very cool. This skin in particular was also modded in the game and looked amazing in-game. The Ceratosaurus is one of my personal favorites, and honestly, Jurassic World the game has very crazy designs, to say the least. But seeing the Ceratosaurus skin would be amazing with its cool, cool spikes and blues and reds. Its Dimorphodon skin would also be cool to see. Its unique head crest would be awesome to see in-game and bring more color to our flying reptiles as in reality, their colors do not stand out much and are kind of bland. This final baryonic skin would make the berry stand out even more, and those spikes on its back and head just... Mwah. They're amazing, and it would be amazing to see in game as well. But enough about dinosaurs. Let's get on with attractions. This go-kart attraction also appeared in Jurassic World the game. It would be awesome to ride in first person and just see our little guests riding the go-karts. Honestly, this would be cool. This Ferris wheel would also be cool and make our park swim more like an amusement park like Six Flags more than a zoo. As right now, they just feel like a prehistoric zoo. The final attraction we could see is a drop tower, as these are very popular in Europe and add more attractions. These are probably my favorite rides, but what is y'all's favorite ride? Make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Now for maps. In Jurassic Park, it was revealed that if the original Jurassic Park did not fail, then John Hammond would have built more parks in other areas around the world, including in Europe. Some more maps we could see is in other European countries, including Italy. Its cities are beautiful and would be awesome to see, in, but maybe just in the background, or they could just let us build in the city. Depends on frontier. The Netherlands would also be an awesome place to build at, and maybe they could give us a natural lagoon in the map, too, since it is near the ocean. Another map we could see could be in Spain. Its buildings are amazing, and this could introduce bridges, which are already present in prehistoric planet and I think planet zoo, and people have been begging Frontier for bridges and all that stuff. The final map we could see could be France. The Eiffel Tower would be amazing to see in the background, and maybe we could build right next to the tower, and I know people would love to see more things in the background. This expansion could also bring a new medieval building set. This would be very unique to see as the closest thing we have to this 
are the brick walls and the Malta expansion. The parks that people would be able to build with this would be amazing to see. With castles and brick fences in the game, it would make us feel like we just returned back to the medieval times. And honestly, I can't wait to see what people will do with these types of decorations. The campaign that this expansion could bring could revolve around going to many parts of Europe and building more and more parks to spread John Hammond's dream all around the world and to increase revenue and bring back new European species. But that's my idea for a European expansion. Tell me what you would do differently or if you would even want to see this. This would probably become a series where we do expansions for every continent. But if you want to see what a Lost World expansion could look like, click this video right here to find out.